What's up YouTube today we have Henry's championship gun bunch offset Eagles offense here in Madden 24 now I've done a breakdown on this offense um, in the past um, but this is Henry's version the one that he used to win the Madden Bowl the 250k in the first ring ever in MCS history um a lot of really good games in the Madden Bowl especially the finale between Henry and Wes really back and forth game looked like Wesley was gonna pull it out at the end but Henry got a clutch stop on defense he was able to walk off for the win so yeah i mean that's what we're really gonna be looking at here um eagles playbook him and wesley really just ran the same stuff um and it was really a a tough sledding for them on offense in this game just because of how familiar they were with each other but um we're gonna be showing off what they did in this game to secure spots in the finals and what Henry did to end up winning. So don't forget to go down below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on, and let's jump right onto the field. All right, so the first play that we're gonna be looking at here is double post, one of the most basic plays in the game. Just put RB on a shriek. Henry really liked to call this on the other half, so I'll go ahead and flip my bunch and then put RB on a shriek. So it's something like this, where you're gonna have this shriek to run off any D pass, whether it be, or D pass inside thirds, and then you're just gonna allow your post to come behind it to Rasheed Rice. And then if their user bites on the post down the field, you're gonna have Isaiah Pacheco in the middle of the field. So Henry really is one of the best players at sending five out, really loves to send five out a lot. He does um, a lot in this game that I'm referencing. And here, Sending five out of double post is one of the best plays in the game. I mean, you could just see it over and over again. It just really doesn't matter what coverage they're in. If you can get time, sometimes you're not gonna get time to be able to throw that deep post down the field. Sometimes their user's going to be um, occupying that zone there, so you might not be able to, but we call it one more time. Um, you're just gonna be able to see almost every single time you're gonna have this um, post in the middle of the field. Um, whether you want to put the shriek or not, you can put the guy on a drag too. That's also a pretty popular route combo. So probably just something like this. If you do this, um, sometimes that sh post is going to get guarded by, you know, a, a deep half or an inside third. So that's why I recommend always putting the shriek on the field if you want to call this. But another great part about this play is this outside receiver on his C route. So if you put your running back on a wheel and then maybe put your tight end on a drag, this is really going to do a great job against cover three and open up this C route on the sideline. So you see here, cover three cloud. Um, we're going to be running cover three on this um, um, one receiver side so on MVS's side we have this wheel route and the wheel route does a great job of pulling that outside third up the field you just have to be able to make the read especially when they're pressing that outside receiver um, that's a pretty good tell that they're going to be in a cover three defense with that guy in an outside third so if you see that just go ahead and put that um, running back on a wheel route and that'll really do a great job of opening up that um, C route on the sideline. This is also a great red zone play because a lot of the time people don't want to run cover two in the red zone um, because they feel like their zone drops aren't going to be able to get to all the way to the back of the end zone. So they end up just putting a cover three out there and then this type of route combo over here on the running back and solo receiver side does a great job of torching that cover three. So that's double post, one of the most basic plays in the game everyone talks about all the time. All right, so here's another one of Henry's favorite route combos here. It's just going to be double Double corner routes. What makes this so good against? We're going to show it against cover two and cover three. It's super lethal because you have a deep corner route and a short corner route. So if they want to run cover two, that um, cloud flat on the outside. Um, what's his name? Kirby Joseph here, or Cam Sudden, excuse me, on the outside. He's only going to be able to guard one corner out. They run at two different depths off the field, so he's only going to be able to pick one. And then if they want to put an outside third on Sutton, um, like we will in the next example, then it's just going to be even more open because of our shriek pulling up that outside third up the field. So if we run the double corner out combo against a cover two here, you're going to be able to see. You just have to make the read between the corner outs at that time. Really, both of them were open, but Travis Kelsey just has a little bit of separation to run underneath of that um, cloud flat and pick up a huge gain. And you see, I mean, Kadarius Tony here looks like he's about to just run. Yeah, he ends up running right over the top of the cloud flat. So really both corner routes were open here, but 
Problem is, you get shedded sometimes, so you just have to really just take the first one. But if they want to bring up their cloud flats, to say, to, to really consistently stop that, you want to have a 20 or 15 out there to stop that corner out. But if they want to do that, we're going to be able to just throw our um, 25, 30 yard corner out up the field. So I'll show you that right here. All right, so we, double, we go with double corner routes again right here, and you just are able to see that that curl flat corner route does a great job getting over the top of these kind of shorter cloud flats. That route actually gets over 25s as well. The only route that's really going to be able to take that away is a 30-yard cloud flat. And again, like I said earlier, if they want to put a 30-yard cloud flat on the field, they're not going to be able to stop our 15 to 20-yard corner route. So that's what makes double corner routes so dangerous out of the play curl flat against cover two. But let me show you get against cover three. All right, so against cover three here, we're going to looks like have this shriek to run off these outside thirds. And then we're just going to really both corner outs should be open here, but especially the tight end corner out. And so we snapped the ball here against cover three. And this time, like I said, our tight end corner out does a great job running underneath of that outside third. Pretty simple, especially against cover three. It's even easier. There's even like less of a risk of throwing an interception or getting the pass batted down because I mean, Travis Kelsey's just wide open. Like I said, our streak's going to do a great job of running off this outside third and just allow for both of these corner outs to run underneath of him, but especially the tight end one. So that's a really great route combo out of the play curl flat. All right, so Wes in this game was running a lot of dollar. Sometimes he was pinching his line. Well, most of the time he was pinching his line. So I'll go ahead and pinch my defensive line right here. But what makes this so good? This is just going to be a read option. Dollar, one of the weaker defenses on the interior. So if you're able to just secure a block, this tight end does a great job of pulling across and opening like a lane here. You see Isaiah Pacheco, if you're able to hit a juke, get sticky, you can get out of there um, pretty easily. Him and Wesley in the finals really did a good job of running the ball and even popped a couple big runs using this read option play. It's read option. What I would say is that they have their defensive line spread a lot. You can run that in clock situations where you're trying to kind of maneuver the clock and get it down to put yourself in position in the fourth quarter you can do that by running this play so rpos read options um from this eagles playbook are, do a really good job against these spread defensive lines like we see in dollar and right, so the next type of route combo that we're going to talk about here is smash return we talk about this all the time when i break down um bunch so all this is is just a three level read um you're going to be looking for your tight end first on that drag and then their user is pretty much always going to bite on either that drag or the post and it's going to open up this um backside or inverted zig whatever you want to call it to rishi rice he's going to run um he's going to run outside and try to cut back into the middle of the field so that's one of the best rock combos against zone coverage just because if they don't put vert hooks in the field if they don't man people up it's going to be very tough for them to take that away so henry really liked mixing that in in this entire tournament so that's why it's one of the best plays in this offensive guide all right so we're going to talk a little strategy here this is something that henry loved to do this entire tournament but a lot of guys want to run this um cover two double mabel defense from this cover two press one of the most popular defenses in the game we talked about how 88 used it to win a belt we talked about how henry used it to get to the finals and then also how he uh used it to win the finals but this is what wesley was running in this game he was doing a lot of this so the basic principles of this defense is to pinch your defense a line you're going to press your defense and you're going to pass commit most sometimes people are going to back off these slot corners um as well so these two guys um and then they also want to back off these outside corners everyone's going to be backed off and they just want to play a coverage defense and they just want to send four so she's going to be a double mabel put these guys in these um 10 or five yard purples and then have 30s behind it so if we take a look at this route combo against this defense if we let them set up their defense which is what we're not going to do um but let's say we let them set up their defense they're going to pass commit they're going to have all these guys out here in coverage and this is one of henry's favorite route combos against this defense but if we let them set it up you're going to be able to see they're able to get an a gap and even though like that's a 30 yard zone drop. If we're able to roll outside the pocket, that um, corner route from MVS does a great job of getting over the top of that. Like that's a, a backed off 
30 yard zone drop, literally the deepest that this zone can get in the game. And we still have a route because we were able to roll outside the pocket. We have a route that's able to get over the top of their deep zone. So, or their deep cloud flat. We also have this shriek in the middle of the field to run off their deep half and just allow this corner out to get wide open over here on the sideline. So I uh, really love this play. You know, we let them set up their defense, but and it still worked but the reason why this works is we have travis kelsey um able to steal this edge for us allow us to get outside the pocket and as long as you have a fast quarterback like most of the quarterbacks in mutt right now you're gonna be able to do this make sure you're sliding your line to the right and iding this um inside linebacker as the mic because this blitz like you see here it got picked up but this guy nearly ran right free and would have stopped this entire play um from the jump so make sure you're setting your protection but um and also make sure that you're kind of quick snapping this play like this is a play that i would just quick snap try to set up your adjustments very quickly don't let them back everyone off and pass commit so don't let them set up their entire defense try to get this play off quickly but you see even if you do let them get their, all their adjustments off this is what most people are going to do out of this defense especially against this bunch strong nasty so um if you don't let them get all their adjustments off this is going to be even better but you see even if you do i mean we have this um route to number four this in route wide open and then we also have our real route wide open out of the backfield off the rip so we're able to roll outside the pocket get this ball deep down the field patrick mahomes makes an accurate throw and we pick up a huge gain so love that play against cover two double maple all right, so this is another one that if you watch the Madden Bowl, you definitely saw this a lot. So what this is, is you're gonna audible to the Bunch Strong Nasty. You're going to call the play Dagger. Dagger, um, all you have to do, and then the only hire you have to make is put RB on a um, crosser. So as long as you have Hot Rod Master, which every quarterback in Mud now has Hot Rod Master. If you're playing Rags, you have Patrick Mahomes. He has Hot Rod Master. So once again, you realize that you're playing against this dollar defense and you have to make sure that you set your protection so slide your line to the right id the inside linebacker is the mic and now you can just snap the ball and run this play you see your offensive line does a great job picking up the blitz and we did have our crosser wide open unfortunately patrick mahomes has the biggest wind up in the game but i mean we take a look at the replay here you see number 19 just running wide open down the field now if they have these deep knockout abilities on these um corners here on the outside this is going to be a little bit tougher for you to throw but you see here Kadarius Tony um he's definitely open here and we're definitely able to throw that so just got to take advantage of it try to get the ball out quick with your quarterback but definitely love this route combo against cover three defenses I want to show you guys a quick little trick here um for those who have stuck around this far in the video you know we got a little bit longer here a couple more plays to go over but um this is a trick that a lot of high level defensive players use so they're gonna when they press their defense to set up this blitz and they want to back everyone off they're going to try to back these corners off as quickly as possible and the reason why is because you see i'm in bunch i haven't audible yet i came out in bunch haven't audible yet so the game allows you to back your corners off um as long as you're still in the same formation so if we press them um as long as the offense is still in the same formation but if we reset this and press our defense again and then i audible to let's just say bunch strong nasty i want to call dagger now they can't back off their corners you see i'm trying to back off x i'm trying to back off b these corners can't be backed off and when people run cover two double maple defense they want to have their corners backed off and 30 yard zone drops because even though this guy on the outside vildor even though he's in a 30 yard zone drop he's not going to get to 30 yards because he's standing right on the ball so you're gonna so it's gonna take an extra adjustment from them if they even want to have these corners backed off now they're going to have to manually click onto them and then back them off this takes a lot more time and then that's what allows you to quick snap there's been numerous times this year last year where I do this and then I snap the ball and they're caught on this outside corner. Now you have the middle of the field wide open to attack because their user's not there. So that's just a cat and mouse game that you're able to play with people. And that's why when you watch these high level players, they're audibling immediately. So they're coming out in bunch offset. Let's just say, so I come out in bunch offset, I'm immediately audibling to this. 
to this bunch of nasty. I don't even, it doesn't even matter what play I choose. I just want to get in this formation so they can't back off their outside corners. Now I've used one audible. Now I can use another one if I want to change the play. Say I want to run an RPO because I see they were able to get their corners backed off. I do that and we're just able to throw this ball on the outside. Now this time we don't pick up a huge gain, but you see what I'm saying where if they get their corners backed off and I want to change into a different play, I might even be able to audible back to bunch. So you can really just play a cat and mouse game with them just if you're able to get this audible off as quickly as possible um that's one of the best ways to attack cover two defenses but right, so we're going to give you guys another cover two beater this time they're going to be sending three so we can get a little bit more time here there's going to be times where they're going to send three because if you keep calling the plays that's going to destroy their send four defense because like i said there are easy ways to beat this a gap blitz just some plays just do a better job than others but if you continue to call those plays that do a great job against it they're going to stop sending four they're going to start sending three or maybe even less than that so when they want to start sending three this is one of the best plays that you can go to here so we're just going to block our running back put b on a flat rb on a shriek and we're going to leave this deep post this deep post i feel like i've talked about this in another video before but we snap the ball here and you see we have plenty of time they have 30 yard zone drops on the field and we're still able to get this ball over the top of that 30 yard zone drop he still just has no chance to guard this super deep post route from Rasheed Rice. I mean, he's backed off. He's in a 30, but he just he just backpedals, just can't get up the field. One of my biggest pet peeves about this game is we just have routes that just easily get over the top of 30-yard zone drops. Now, this is what makes this cover two double maple defense so tough to run against against a high powered offense like eagles where you have routes to get over 30s you have routes to get under 25s under 20s like it just makes calling cover two defense so tough you have posts that split safeties in the middle of the field so cover two just really isn't a viable option really against um this offense i mean you can mix it in but i mean why trail having wide trail that gets over 30 yard zone drops is just so lethal but all right so here it is um, this is going to be the last play that we're going to be looking at from Henry's championship offense. Um, this is just going to be an RPO. He really loved calling these type of RPO plays. So it's an RPO. It's basically a run pass option. So it's kind of a run play in a sense. But you have the passing aspect to it. So that's why it actually excites me unlike most running plays. But here you're just going to be making the read on the outside corner. This out, These two outside guys. You see you're probably going to have a two on two as far as blocking to potential threats over here on this right side so this isn't a terrible look um too but you, again you just have to be patient read it you see here then we're able to hit a juke our guys do a great job blocking don't just throw it out there immediately you know they don't really be calling a legal man downfield in this game so you're gonna have time to be able to make this read out here on the outside to see you know are they jumping it so you see here they're backed off but this time we're going to make them press and so if they press you're going to have to be a little bit more careful because if they pass commit you know they're just going to be able to pretty much just jump right into the passing window so just making sure you're double teaming this defender that's highlighted with the double team icon here id probably just their user is the mic um so they draw into line blocks their user and just doesn't let them walk into the backfield but you see here we make the read again this time you know it's open again travis kelsey does a pretty good job of picking up that block and we're able to um, pick up another big game now every time the rpo is not going to be there for you sometimes you're actually going to have to hand the ball off because you know there are ways to stop rpos in this game like if they're just getting torched by these rpos they're going to start pass committing they're just they're not just going to allow you to Kind of just keep beating them with this so say they pass commit here you see it's not open um i actually should have handed the ball off with patrick mahomes there uh or two i'd say pacheco but i mean shoot you can turn it into a read option too if you really need to um so there are just so many ways that you can um, beat the defense with these rpos rpos you know they've been good in madden since probably madden 22 really is when they kind of took off um last year they were pretty good this year they're probably even better than they ever have been you see you just have so many options run with the quarterback run with the running back throw the ball out to the receiver so rpo read bubble out of the bunch strong nasty also one of the best plays in the game that's going to do it for Henry's championship offense. One of the best 
um, offenses that we've seen over the last couple of years. Henry always seems to build these dominant offenses, dominate defenses, be kind of a trendsetter um, in the competitive Madden space. Everyone kind of just seems to follow what he does. Wesley also one of those players as well. That's why he was in the finals too. But Henry just... You know, being dominant on both sides of the ball is just something that separates him. So, um, Henry, first Madden millionaire, first guy to make $1 million off the MCS. And he did, he started, what, in Madden 20, so just five years. I mean, 200K a year from playing Madden is just insane. But congratulations, to Henry. That's the offense um, that we are talking about here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to get on below. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Turn the notifications on. And um, I'm going to catch you all in the next video. Peace.